Good afternoon. This is Between the Lines Live at SanduskyRegister.com. I'm Matt Westerhold, Managing Editor of the Register. And my guest today is Pastor Jay Halley from the chapel out on Galloway Road. We're going to learn a little bit about the chapel. We're going to learn about an upcoming visit by uh, sports writer Terry Pluto, a Cleveland, famed Cleveland sports writer Terry Pluto to Sandusky as a, a fundraiser for the Nehemiah Center. So we'll talk with Pastor Halley in just a few minutes. But before we start that, I want to mention that Between the Lines Live is brought to you by Serving Our Seniors. When you need help, Call Serving Our Seniors 419-624-1856 for Erie County residents age 60 and better. I also want to mention that this afternoon we're going to have the esteemed sports editor emeritus Butch Wagner on our program Between the Lines in just a little bit. And we're also going to have Jim Klein, the author of this book, 30 years of Sandusky football history at Strobo Field. We're going to learn more about the book, where you can buy it. And uh, so Between the Lines is quickly becoming the premier sports magazine in Erie County. Aaron McLaughlin's with us today. Aaron, you want to say hello? Hello. Uh, Producing Between the Lines. You can also see all of our Between the Lines segments at SanduskyRegister.com slash BTL. Uh, so, and we've had a lot this week. Um, we, so go check it out. It's a lot of good stuff for your information. With that, I want to introduce Pastor Jay Halley. Pastor, thank you for being on Between the Lines. Thank you, Matt. Good to be here. It's good to see you. We just had a nice lunch downtown, and uh, yeah. thank you for lunch. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I, want, I wanted to bring you on because I know that there's this fundraiser coming up with uh, Terry Pluto, but before we go there, I, I, I want to learn more about the chapel and sure. who knows more about the chapel is there someone who knows more about the chapel than you I'm sure there is but I'm with you now so. <laughs> all right so tell me about the chapel how long has it been there the chapel just passed its 30th year okay uh, in September okay and started in 86 and uh, in uh, in Huron and went to several locations and now we're on Galloway Road Galloway Road uh, you know Right out there. It's in here. It is. It's on Galloway Road. But I should say, that's our Sandusky campus. Uh, about five years ago, almost five years ago, I remember. we began another campus in Norwalk. That's so right. So we have one right there on 250. And uh, is, is it non-denominational? It is. And, and what does that mean in, in layman's terms? Yeah. You know, another term might be independent. Uh, it certainly doesn't mean anti-denominational. It just means that we're not affiliated with any particular denomination. Yeah. And how long have you been with the chapel? That's a great question. Uh, I could answer that two ways. Uh, here, I've almost five years. Okay. But before here, I was in Akron at a church also called the chapel okay. for 23 years. Are they affiliated? There's a very loose affiliation going back to 1986 where the folks here who planted the church thought, you know what, we really like the logo and the name of the chapel in Akron. Right. Let's ask permission to use that, and that's what they did. And, and you're you're kind of like a mega church. Is that is that, a, is that accurate? It you depends. seem mega church. Yeah. To me. <laughs> well, hopefully we seem really personable too. Yes, but. you do. I, I've always every time I've been at the chapel, it's been a pleasant experience, and and it's been uh, well. I mean, there was a funeral. I was at uh, Jep uh, Bloor's funeral. I think sure. it was the first time yeah, I was there. Yep, yep, yep. Jep was a long time advertising uh, director, ag- yeah. agent here at the register who died suddenly. And I think that was the first time I was at the chapel. And it was a, mm-hmm. it was a, a very special celebration, uh, you know, of Jep's right. life. And we all love Jep. Yeah. And that's the, that's, that's the experience that many people have had. Their first time at the chapel mm-hmm. is for a funeral, for a wedding, some type of public event and so on. Yeah. But, but I forget what your question was now. Uh, are you did, was it, are you a megachurch? You yeah, were, that's a great question. That, that's a good question. It depends how you define megachurch. Many people say it's it's when you're over a thousand attenders, then you're a megachurch. Well, there are many of those today. Mm-hmm. It, it used to be twenty years ago there weren't that many. Now there are many churches that size. Mm-hmm. And is, is is there is there a mission in particular? I mean, is there is is What's the mission of the chapel? Is that a good question? That's a great question. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm on a roll. 
Well, our, 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 our vision or our mission statement is to um, help people move one step closer to God mm-hmm. and to each other through mm-hmm. Christ. That's said re- really simply. And uh, so we, um, you know, it's not just not weekend services. We have ha- things happening through the week that hopefully are helping people move one step closer to God and to each other through Christ. Yeah. And I know uh, other members, Annie Zelm, I think she recently went... Yeah. She recently went on a mission. She did. She went to India, and Annie is actually in our small group that meets in my home. Okay. And uh, so we know Annie really well. Annie is a former education reporter right. here at the Sandusky Register, an yeah. excellent reporter, an excellent person. Right? She is. She's awesome. She has good memories. And her of this husband place. as well, Justin. Justin's a great guy. Great guy. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's. I'm sure, I'm sure you know a lot of people who attend the. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I do. So, do you like your job? I love my job. <laughs> what do you love about your job? You know, I, I maybe like your job. I love variety. Uh-huh. I love the different things that I get to do. Uh-huh. I get to meet with you. I get to. This morning, I was down in Huron County visiting different food banks just to get a feel for what goes on there. Um, I really enjoy talking with people just to find out what maybe their next step is in spiritual growth. Um, I enjoy this past weekend. I spoke to the whole church and mm-hmm. gave the message for the mm-hmm. weekend. So, do you have to have an invitation to attend uh, the chapel, or can you just show up? You do, and I'll give you one afterward. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, not at all. No, you, you just show up. You just show up. Yeah, either campus is great. Uh huh. Yeah, just show up. And are there regular services on Sunday, or? Yeah, and so uh, the, the Sandusky campus, we have a Saturday evening service at okay. five o'clock. Okay. And then we do that same service Sunday morning at nine o'clock and eleven o'clock, and then at our Norwalk campus. We have a 9 o'clock and an 11 o'clock campus. So everybody's welcome. Hour. Yeah. And the address on Galloway Road is? 4444 Galloway Road. It's easy to find. It's easy to find. Because it's a mega church. No, it's, it's a very nice, beautiful building. Uh, yeah, a lot, of, a, lot of good, a lot of good things happening there. It, 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 um, it, I've enjoyed every time. And I was there... Yeah. Uh, when was the, um, the, the, the addiction yes. program? Yeah, we did that. I think it was last May. Well, so it's going on a year. And yeah, that, that's about right. The place was packed out. There was a that. thousand people at least. Yeah, I think. and it there shows were cars that, everywhere. Yeah, and it shows the it showed a couple of things: the, the, the uh, understanding of the problem, but also it showed the desire of many uh, corners of the community wanting to do something right, to fight right, the problem. Yeah, 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 that was it. Was pretty special and it was uh, great. Uh, the the uh, the audience was very attentive and large, and it was just a great day. It was, uh, and uh, there were many many people there. I think that was probably the last time I was at the chapel. Yeah. Um, now I also wanted to touch base with you about the Nehemiah Center, which is sure. which is now this is my I don't know if I've ever told you. Uh, well, I'll tell the story. So years ago, I was a reporter here. And this is a true story. And we would have to, you know, we had this map of the region. And we were trying to be creative. And we would take an arrow and we would throw the arrow. And wherever the arrow landed, we had to do a news story. Mm -hmm. So it was my turn to do the arrow story. Every reporter had to do an arrow story once a week. I just find that interesting. It is interesting, especially when I think now that we don't have time to throw arrows because we're we're doing so many news stories. I should do that with preaching. Wherever my (laughs) finger lands in the Bible, I have to preach on that passage. You could do that. Well, so we'd throw, and my arrow landed on um, the blue hole in Castalia. You know the blue hole. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And so I had to write a story about the Blue Hole, and I did some research, and I, I, I found it was discovered by an Englishman. Hmm. And the story goes that it was discovered by the Englishman. But if you look back further, it was actually used as a medicine camp by Indian tribes. It was a know. gathering place. Hmm. And I think of Campbell School as the same type of hallowed ground. Hmm. You know, before that building was put there, this is a place where people went to and they learned lessons in life. I don't know why, sure, but that's where they went. So it's a hallowed ground, it, mm-hmm. you know, and and that's mm-hmm. why the building was put there in 1884 was because people knew even at that time this is a great location for a school because this is where people learn. Right. And and so I was a little leaguer, eight years old, and I hadn't had a hit all year. And I'm at Campbell School, the baseball field there, and I'm eyeballing this pitcher. 
And I think, I can hit this guy. I can hit this guy. And I get up there and I hit a home run. Wow. And the lesson I learned was if you believe in it, you can do it. And I took that lesson with me all my life. Hmm. And so that just reinforced Campbell School. And if you talk to people who went to Campbell School, they all have great memories. Yeah. And I love Campbell School and I love Nehemiah Center. And Nehemiah Center is is there because of the dedication of volunteers and because of the support from from the chapel mm -hmm. and other churches. But mm -hmm. the chapel has been the one that's been there all along. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about Nehemiah Center, if you could. I was riding in the car with one of our county commissioners the other day, and I said to him, I said, one of the things I like about the Nehemiah Center is that it's preventative. We do a lot of things to address problems in the community, some which are not preventative, mm -hmm. it's just reacting. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I like Nehemiah Center in the sense that we, um, we, we feed the kids. I mean, Engaged, the, yeah. we, feed the, we feed the kids, we feed the families, and, and one of the reasons is an empty belly has no ears. That's you, right. you have to address the need that way. But beyond food, we're helping them with education, we're teaching them skills, relational skills, financial skills. These are the things that are going to help them to grow up to be self-sustaining, mm -hmm. um, productive citizens, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what I—that's what I like about it. And it's—it's it's addressing the, the the needs of inner-city, at-risk kids. Yeah, you know, parents need help. We all need help. Yeah, but but these parents need help, and this is a way to come alongside these kids. And Tondra Frisbee, who you know well. Tondra, yes. Is it just is a, a great executive director? We have a great board. We have people who just are committed to helping these children. And it's it's uh, lots of volunteers, yeah, there and are. more volunteers are always needed. Yeah, it runs uh, on volunteers. If you if you if you have uh, you know two hours a week mm -hmm. to 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 spend, they'll find something for you to do, and it'll be a great experience because you'll you'll see it in action. You'll see love in action. Yeah, at the right. Nehemiah Center. That's right. So if you're interested in volunteering, uh, you can contact Tondra Frisbee at Campbell School, and um, it should be easy to look up. But if you if you can't find her number, call me, and I'll get your information to her or check the Volunteer Center website. You can reach me at 419-609-5866 if you're interested in volunteering or being a guest on this show. Uh, so ne yeah. I love the support of Nehemiah Center. I, I think it's so important to the community, and I've, I've seen, I've watched Nehemiah Center for seven years now, and the impact it's had as these, sure. as these young children grow up. And and uh, I'm going to the basketball game uh, Saturday to watch one of uh, the comeback kids. Uh, yeah, these kids are learning to give back. Yeah, which it's, is huge. It's a great experience. Right. So if you're interested in volunteering, it's a great place to volunteer. Uh, always seeking donations, right. uh, both volunteer labor and, and money. It's a, it's, it's, a big, money. it's a big building. It's an old building. Yep. We need help. And then with just programming needs, we need help that way. Yep. So anytime people There's always give. something new. And that brings us to Terry Pluto. Yeah. Now, Terry Pluto is a, is a, a well-known sports writer in Northeast Ohio, I guess we'd call it. He was, he's been at both the Plain Dealer and the Akron Beacon Journal. Right. And I think he's back at the Plain Dealer now. Correct. He's written books about the Cleveland Browns, the the you know the Bible of the Browns. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the name of that book? I forget now. Oh, uh, I, I can't remember right now. He's a very much followed uh, sports reporter. He's written many books on the Browns, the Cavs, the, the Indians. Indians. Nobody knows Cleveland sports like, like Terry Pluto Terry does. Pluto does. And he's coming into town uh, February twenty second. 25th. 25th. He's going to be at the chapel? Saturday morning, the 25th. He's going to come and um, be our guest, and he's going to talk about sports and life and faith. You know, he isn't just a sports columnist. He is also a faith columnist. So he has some really cool things to share that way, and we're inviting anybody who has interest in Cleveland sports to come and just ask questions, hear him talk. Um, and what's interesting is I've, I've known Terry for a lot of years, and... Uh, one of the things I know about him is that he's deeply involved with jail ministry, mm -hmm. going into jails, and he's also deeply in interested in inner city ministries. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, I'll come, but I don't want any payment for this at all. Mm -hmm. If there mm -hmm. are going to be any proceeds, have it. And so we, we have it going toward Nehemiah. That's Center. great. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this, so this is a way, this is a win-win. It's, it's for people who have loved sports and want to hear how faith and sports connect, but also who want to 
bless a really valuable ministry like Nehemiah Center. Like Nehemiah Center. That's uh, February 25th yep, to Saturday. Saturday morning, 9.30, uh, doors open at 9 o'clock. Uh, just call the chapel to register or go online to, uh, it's thechapel.tv slash events. Okay. Why, why the TV? I'm just curious. I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> true, true value. True value. I have no idea. <laughs> And that's February 25th, doors open at 9.30, uh, a morning with Terry Pluto and yep. talking about Cleveland sports, ministry, proceeds benefit the Nehemiah Center at Campbell School in Sandusky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is there a donation uh, to, to, to see? There's a registration cost for mm -hmm. ten, of $10. $10. And, um, yeah. You'll get a chance to meet Terry Pluto. And I know there's a lot of people that read Terry Pluto. So if you're interested, please uh, register at... What is the address again? It's, it's thechapel.tv slash events. Events. Very right. good. Well, Pastor Haley, I want to thank you very much for being a guest on Between the Lines. And I My want pleasure. to make sure you know you're welcome back anytime you want to talk again about anything that uh, you feel is important to the community. Thank you so much. Thanks to the Sandusky Register, to you, Matt. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. And with that, I just want to remind our audience that we're going to be doing another program today with uh, Butch Wagner, uh, our sports editor emeritus, along with Jim Klein, uh, a resident of the West Side who wrote a book called Sandusky's Blue Streaks Football. We're going to be talking about this book with Butch and Jim Klein. Jim's running a little late, so we'll be back in a little bit. All of these programs are available at SanduskyRegister.com slash BTL.